urban explorers, antisocial culprits, or just everyday people. Find out more in our exclusive documentary, Every Nook and Cranny, Exploring Our Abandoned City. Today I'm travelling down to Brighton to interview local urban explorers who have started to gain a large following on social media. They will be informing me what it's like to explore abandoned buildings in their city and will give us an insight on why they started this compelling hobby. I've been doing it for years really. I've I kind of got into it through watching YouTube videos. I saw some guys doing something fun, so I want to do something similar. Um, well, my dad left when I was six. Uh, didn't have much to do. Like living on a estate, it's not that much going on. But like, I started climbing stuff, and things just got bigger and bigger, and kind of spiraled from there, really. So, uh, don't know various places really. Broke the football stadium. Uh, tops of schools, buildings in town, shopping centre, places like this. You know, a bit of anything really. Everything goes with urban exploration. I think I'll keep doing it as well. Yeah, it's like a part of me. It's been with me for like a long time now. After finishing our first interview, I wondered if urban um, exploring was just a way to escape from our society. I kept this in mind while we travelled into the heart of Brighton to interview our next explorer. So how did you get into urban exploring? Well, one of my mates found a video online and showed it to our group and it just looked like, you know, it just looked like a laugh. No one was really doing anything one weekend. He thought, why don't we just try it out? Just go urban exploring. I mean, it started off as more of like, more of a joke, sort of. Like, we weren't really that serious about it. And then just got really into it. Just started doing it almost every weekend. But yeah, that's how I got into it. Well, I was just on this rooftop and it was just like, as, as it always was, just with my mates, just getting some pictures, filming, just doing, just, just chilling really. And then we started hearing police sirens in the background and before we knew it, the police were just all over us. I got arrested, a couple of my mates made it away, but I just had to spend a night in the cell and after that, just never, never felt the same really. Would you say there's always a big risk? when you take part in urban exploring? There's definitely a risk, but it's kind of, that's the, that's the appeal of it. It's the adrenaline, that's the adrenaline you get from the risk being there. If there was no risk, I would never have done it. 